What is up guys? Today we're going to be doing a quick and easy hamstring flexibility routine for beginners that you can do every day to loosen up all that tightness that most of us have in that area causing all sorts of problems. The hamstrings are one of those muscles that get really tight by all the sitting we do and of course by no stretching them in a regular basis. It is a very stubborn muscle to stretch and quite painful to be honest, especially if we have very tight hamstrings. I remember five years ago dreaming about even slightly touching my toes with my fingertips and now I can just wake up first time in the morning and place my hands in the ground. But believe it or not, flexibility didn't come very easily to me. I had to put in the time and the effort to get to the point of where I am today. Getting to my level of hamstring flexibility is definitely not necessary if you are just looking to improve your posture, reduce low back pain, or just simply be able to pick up something from the floor without having to bend your knees that much. But if you are trying to get move like the V-seat and the press to handstand, then you might want to consider spending a good amount of your time working on your hamstring flexibility so those moves become ahead of a lot easier. Now, I made this routine especially for beginners by choosing exercises that are accessible to any person with very tight hamstrings because a lot of the stretches we see out there for hamstrings involve you sitting down in the floor and when our hamstrings are tighter than normal, we cannot even sit and keep our back straight, resulting in a massive overstretch in our lumbar spine and little to no stretch in our hamstrings. So we are going to do some sitting stuff at the end, but most of the work is going to be standing and laying down so we can really focus on stretching the hamstrings and not so much in our lower back. For this routine, we're going to be using a resistance band and some yoga blocks to modify some of the poses and allow us to go deeper into the positions. But you can replace the band with a strap or a rope and the blocks with a couple of books or anything similar to a yoga block if you don't have access to those tools. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover before we begin. So without further ado, I'll see you in your mat. All right guys, so let's begin. We're gonna start warming up our hamstrings with some standing front kicks. So stand about shoulder width apart we're gonna start with our left first. I want you to flex your foot instead of pointing this time. I want you to flex as much as possible so we're also engaging our calf muscles as well as our hamstrings. But you're gonna put a level for your hand so you're able to keep to that hand. I don't want you to, let's say, setting the level too high and then just bring the hand to your toes. I want you to bring the toes towards your hand. So set a level that you feel comfortable kicking up and we're gonna go for 10 times. So go up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, keep flexing, eight, nine, and ten. Now switch it up, bring your right hand forward, flex your right foot, and go up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten now we're going to do some standing forward fall so put your feet close together both of them and inhale lift your chest as high as you can first we're going to see how far we can go keeping our back straight and that's going to tell us how far in our hamstring flexibility journey we are so if you start coming here and you can get to 90 degrees that means that you have really really tight hamstrings and well, that's why this routine is for. But if you can get to 90 and beyond, that means that you have pretty flexible hamstrings. So we're gonna go just forward and back just for five times to start warming up into the hamstrings a little more, keeping our back flat the entire time. So one, two, three, four, now five, you're gonna hold at your maximum depth. And from here, you're going to begin to round by going forward, sucking your belly in so you can create a space. Your pelvis is anteriorly tilted, so bring it up so you create more length into the hamstrings. Create more roundiness into the lumbar spine. Now you can grab both elbows and we're gonna go 10 pumps down the ballistic stretching like we did in the pancake stretch. So go forward for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one, and hold. You can keep a slightly bend in your knees if your hamstrings are really, really tight and you have any knee pain. There's nothing wrong with bending slightly your knees, but if you can keep them straight, go ahead and do so. Inhale, lift your chest a little higher. Exhale, fall a little deeper. If you can get your hands to the floor, feel free to do so. Or if you want to put some blocks or something right here to help you relax into the stretch, even better. We're gonna be holding here for about 30 more seconds. So try to relax your neck. And remember to breathe. On each inhale, try to lift a little higher the chest. And on every exhale, try to go a little deeper into the stretch. Slowly come back up. Now you're gonna bring the left foot in front of you about three or four inches distance apart. Back foot is gonna be 45 degrees facing to the right. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go forward five times, as far as you can go. Really focusing now on the left hamstring. This one is much more intense than the previous one, just because we're focusing only on one hamstring. Let's go for five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now one, hold and do the same thing. Begin to wound, create extension through the chest, stock your belly so you can create a space. For this one, we, you might need the blocks for balance. So grab your couple blocks or books or anything that can help you place your hands so you can relax into the stretch. Inhale, lift your chest a little higher and begin to round slowly until you find don't go to your maximum depth when we're holding poses for more than 30 seconds. Go to a place where you kind of feel the stretch, but you are not sending pain signals to your, to your brain and telling your body to contract. Once you find that depth, you can begin to relax the head, begin to relax the lumbar spine. Always trying to round forward instead of rounding back and compressing our lumbar spine. Inhale, lift your chest halfway. You're gonna flex your left foot and we're gonna fall again, holding for 20 seconds, but right now activating or actually stretching our calf. Imagine that your head wants to get to your toes, even if that seems like an impossible task to do. And relax. Bring the foot back up. Then bring the right foot in front of you, left foot is 45 degree facing outward. We're gonna go forward five times with your back flat for five, four, three, inhale when you go up, exhale, two when you go down, and one and hold. Put your hands in the blocks create more extension through the lumbar spine and round forward, forward, imagining your head wants to get to your toes one more time. We're gonna hold here for about 20 seconds. So focus on your breathing. If you feel too much pain, feel free to back off. Feel free also to move around. Even if you're holding static poses, you wanna be moving around to find that little part of your hamstrings where you find more tightness and where it's more loose. So you understand a little bit more your body. Flex your right foot. Again, head towards the toes. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, create extension through the lumbar spine. Hips are going back and up to create more extension in the right hamstring. Keep breathing smoothly. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose as well. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, plant your foot, remove the blocks. Now we're gonna go laying down in the floor. 
This is probably going to be the best stretch you can do for your hamstrings if you have very, very tight hamstrings because it's the one that is going to allow you to really, really target the hamstrings without focusing that much on the lumbar spine. So lay down in the ground, extend both legs in front of you. We're gonna start with our left leg. We're just gonna go up, keeping our feet flex as much as possible until you can go. If you can get to 90 degrees, that means that your hamstrings are in a pretty good position. If you are right here, that means your hamstrings are kind of tight. And if you can go beyond that, you have really flexible hamstrings. We're just gonna go up and down for five times. So let's go for one, two, three, four, now five, and you're going to hold. Maybe do a slightly bend on the knee to protect the hamstring a little more. You're going to grab your band, your strap, or anything that you have at your disposal, put it around your feet, and you're gonna bring that feet or the leg towards you. And I mean the leg instead of the feet because you don't wanna be thinking about your feet. You wanna be thinking about your quad and your hip flexor compressing towards your abdomen. Keep a slight engagement into the quad as well into the hip flexors. And as you see that your body starts to open up, you pull more and more towards you. We're just going to do one round of PNF in this position. So you're gonna tense everything up, including your hamstrings, meaning that you're pushing the band away from you and at the same time you're pulling so you create engagement into the hamstring. We're gonna contract for six to seven seconds and then we're gonna relax for about 10 seconds. So contract in three, two, one, as much as possible. Maybe 50% of your effort, keep contracting. Bring it up to 60% of your effort. Bring it up to 80% of your effort and relax. Now pull, only use your hands and the strength of your quads to bring the leg closer to you. Hold here for about 10 more seconds. Again, move around, find where the tightness is. Create a space by sucking your belly in. And set it down. Relax the leg, put the band away. We're gonna do the same thing with our right leg. So flex our right foot, bring it up for one, two, Three, four, five, and hold. Grab your band, strap, rope, whatever you have, put it around your feet, and bring it closer to you. Again, slight engagement into the quad, as well into the hip flexors. On every exhale, try to pull your leg closer and closer to you maybe a slightly bend in the knee. Let's go for the PNF round. So we're gonna tense for again six to seven seconds, pushing with your feet the band towards the ceiling and towards the ground. So up and down. We're gonna contract in three, two, one, go. 50% of your maximum effort. 70%. 2 seconds 80 percent of your maximum effort and release bring get closer to you use the muscles of your leg the opposite muscle of your hamstrings which are your quads and your hip flexors to pull the leg towards you you're using your hands to to pull you but i want you guys to learn how to use your own strength to get deeper into the positions. And how we do that is by engaging the opposite muscle of the one that we are stretching. In this case, we're stretching our hamstrings, so we contract our quad and our hip flexors. 10 more seconds. And release. The last stretch we're going to do is going to be a seated forward fold, but a modified version. So you're gonna grab a block 
and you're gonna place it at about a hand distance apart from the wall. So no touching the wall, but like a hand distance apart. And you're gonna sit on that block. This is going to prevent us, the wall is going to prevent us from rounding way too much and attacking too much on the lumbar spine. So we can really focus on the hamstrings. You're gonna extend the legs right in front of you. You're gonna bend your knees to the point where you can reach out and grab your feet. So in order to reach out, I want you to inhale with your chest the highest that you can go, go as forward as you can go with your back flat, then begin to round, and then it's when you grab your feet. From here, I want you to go with one foot forward. In this case, let's start with the right. So you feel the right hamstring stretching. If you don't feel the stretch, extend the entire leg completely, or if you really don't feel the stretch, the you can just remove the block and do this same drill on the ground. But if you are a beginner and you have really tight hamstrings, you should feel the stretch right here. Try to go a little forward and try to extend the entire leg. If that doesn't happen, just strengthen your leg as far as you can go. Bring the knee back towards you. Let's go to the left, extend the leg until you feel the stretch. Keep lifting your chest forward, keep falling forward. and bring both together. Now you're going to bring both legs forward in front of you. You're gonna grab the band, the rope, or anything that you have. Set it around your feet, flex your feet. Now you're just going to go forward, as forward as you can go with your back flat. Once you find that maximum depth, you're going to begin to round. If you only get to this point, that's totally fine. Keep flexing, so we also engage our calves. And we're gonna hold here for about a minute or so. So don't go to your maximum depth. Because as I said, and I've been saying that over and over, you're gonna send pain signals to your body and your body's just going to contract. So find a position where you can relax into the stretch. Try to relax your head. Keep sending your hips back. Keep inhaling and lifting your chest forward. Keep exhaling, sucking your belly in, rounding a little more, but always trying to go forward instead of down. As I said in my previous video, imagine your chest going to your knees and imagine your head going towards your toes. If you don't need the band, you can grab your feet. Go ahead and do so. Inhale, lift your chest a little higher. Exhale for the last 30 seconds. Inhale, lift your chest, and slowly come back up. You can say sitting down, I'm just going to stand up, say goodbye to the camera. So there you have it guys, this is a daily hamstring flexibility routine, especially for beginners, but if you are an advanced, all the exercises can still benefit you, because flexibility is so personal that if you see me getting that deep into the pose, that doesn't mean that you need to get as deep as I go, that doesn't mean that you need to look the same way that I'm looking. As long as you're feeling the stretch in the muscles that we're trying to stretch, it doesn't really matter how the pose look, as long as you're actually feeling the stretch. If you guys have any questions about this routine, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to reply or even do an entire video about it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button to support the channel and share it with a friend that's struggling with flexibility or that wants to get a press to handstand, a visit, or just have regular tight hamstrings. If you happen to be new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any content in the future. And as always, guys, I'll see you all next week. Much love.